Panasonic Corporation, Panasonic Uzushi Huishi Panasonic Kabushiki Gaisha, formerly known as Matusta Electric Industrial Co., Ltd. Songchia Dian Chichan Yuzushi Huishi Matusta Denki Sangyo Kabushiki Gaisha, is a Japanese multinational electronics corporation headquartered in Kodoma, Osaka, Japan. The company was founded in 1918 as a producer of lightbulb sockets and has grown to become one of the largest Japanese electronics producers alongside Sony, Hitachi, Toshiba, Pioneer, and Canon Inc. In addition to electronics, it offers non-electronic products and services such as home renovation services. Panasonic is the world's fourth largest television manufacturer by 2012 market share. Panasonic has a primary listing on the Tokyo Stock Exchange and is a constituent of the Nikkei 225 and Topix indices. It has a secondary listing on the Nagoya Stock Exchange. Topic name. From 1935 to October 1, 2008, the company name was Matusta Electric Industrial Co. Limited. On January 10, 2008, the company announced that it would change its name to Panasonic Corporation. In effect, on October 1, 2008, to conform with its global brand name, Panasonic. The name change was approved at a shareholders meeting on June 26, 2008 after consultation with the Matusta family. History Twentieth century Panasonic was founded in 1918 by Kanosuke Matusta as a vendor of duplex lamp sockets. In the 1920s Matusta began regularly launching products. In 1927, he produced a line of bicycle lamps that were the first to be marketed with the national brand name. During World War II the company operated factories in Japan and other parts of Asia which produced electrical components and appliances such as light fixtures, motors, electric irons, wireless equipment and its first vacuum tubes. After the war, Panasonic regrouped as a Kiretsu and began to supply the post-war boom in Japan with radios and appliances, as well as bicycles. Matusta's brother-in-law, Toshio Iyu, founded Sanyo as a subcontractor for components after World War II. Sanyo grew to become a competitor to Panasonic, but was later acquired by Panasonic in December 2009. In 1961, Matusta traveled to the United States and met American dealers. The company began producing television sets for the U.S. market under the Panasonic brand name, and expanded the use of the brand to Europe in 1979. The company used the national brand outside North America from the 1950s to the 1970s. The trademark could not be used in the United States because it was already in use. The inability to use the national brand name led to the creation of the Panasonic brand in the United States. Over the next several decades Panasonic released additional products, including black and white TVs 1952, electrical blenders, fridges 1953, rice cookers 1959, color TVs and microwave ovens 1966. .The company debuted a high-fidelity audio speaker in Japan in 1965 with the brand Technics. This line of high quality stereo components became worldwide favorites, the most famous products being its turntables, such as the SL1200 record player, known for its high performance, precision, and durability. Throughout the 1970s and early 1980s, Panasonic continued to produce high quality specialized electronics for niche markets such as shortwave radios, and developed its successful line of stereo receivers, CD players, and other components. In 1973, Matusta established Anim National joint venture with Anim Group in South Korea. In 1983, Matusta launched the Panasonic Senior Partner, the first fully IBM PC compatible Japanese made computer. In November 1990, Matusta agreed to acquire the American media company MCA Inc. for $6.59 billion. Matusta subsequently sold 80% of MCA to Seagram Company for $7 billion in April 1995. In 1998, Matusta sold Anim National to Anim Electronics. Topic: 
Topic: 2000 to present. On May 2, 2002, Panasonic Canada marked its 35th anniversary in that country by giving $5 million to help build a music city. On Toronto's waterfront, on January 19, 2006, Panasonic announced that it would stop producing analog televisions then 30% of its total TV business from the next month, in order to concentrate on digital televisions. In 2008, all models of electric shavers from the Panasonic factory were called Panasonic shavers, and they dropped Matusta and National from their name, regardless of worldwide or Japanese markets. On November 3, 2008, Panasonic and Sanyo announced that they were holding merger talks, which eventually resulted in the acquisition of Sanyo by Panasonic. The merger was completed in December 2009, and resulted in a corporation with revenues of over 11.2 trillion yen around $110 billion, with the announcement that Pioneer would exit the production of its Kuro Plasma HDTV displays. Panasonic purchased many of the patents and incorporated these technologies into its own plasma displays. In April 2011, it was announced that Panasonic would cut its workforce by 40,000 by the end of fiscal 2012 in a bid to streamline overlapping operations. The curtailment is about 10% of its group workforce. In October 2011, Panasonic announced that it would trim its money losing TV business by ceasing production of plasma TVs at its plant in Amagasaki, Hyogo Prefecture by March 2012, cutting 1,000 jobs in the process. In January 2012, Panasonic announced that it had struck a deal with MySpace on its new venture, MySpace TV. MySpace TV will allow users to watch live television while chatting with other users on a laptop, tablet or the television itself. With the partnership, MySpace TV will be integrated into Panasonic Vieira Televisions. On May 11, 2012, Panasonic announced plans to acquire a 76.2% stake in FirePro Systems, an India based company in infrastructure protection and security solutions such as fire alarm, fire suppression, video surveillance, and building management, in line with company prediction of a net loss of 765 billion yen. On November 5, 2012, the shares fell to the lowest level. Level since February 1975 to 388 yen. In 2012, the shares plunged 41%. On November 14, 2012, Panasonic said it will cut 10,000 jobs and make further divestments. On May 18, 2013, Panasonic announced that it would invest $40 million in building a factory in Binh Duong, Vietnam, which was completed in 2014. In July 2013, Panasonic agreed to acquire a 13% stake in the Slovenian household appliance manufacturer Gornia for around €10 million. Euros. In a press release following its announcement at IFA 2013, Panasonic announced that it had acquired the Camera Manager Video Surveillance Service. With the intention of expanding its reach to cloud based solutions. In July 2014, it was announced that Panasonic has reached a basic agreement with Tesla Motors to participate in the Gigafactory, the huge battery plant that the American electric vehicle manufacturer plans to build in the U.S. In August 2014, Tesla said the plant would be built in the southwest or western United States by 2020. The $5 billion plant would employ 6,500 people, and reduce Tesla's battery costs by 30%. The company said it was looking at potential sites in Nevada, Arizona, Texas, New Mexico, and California. In October 2014, Panasonic announced its initial investment in Tesla Motors' battery factory would amount to tens of billions. Of yen, according to the firm's CEO. In November 2014, Panasonic announced its partnership with Photon Interactive to create customized and personalized digital signs in stores. In January 2015, Panasonic announced it has stopped making TVs in China and plans to liquidate its joint venture in Shandong. In March 2015, Panasonic announced plans to buy Houston based satellite communication service provider ITC Global. In April 2015, Panasonic announced its new range of products and relaunched its brand in South Africa. 
The company intends to use South Africa as a springboard into Africa, with Nigeria and Egypt as its initial targets. In June 2015, Panasonic struck agreements with three Australian energy utilities Red Energy, Ergon Energy, and Actuagal to trial its home based battery storage options. In November 2015, the Panasonic Corporation announced that it set up a new plant in Suzhou, China, through its subsidiary, Panasonic Ecology Systems Co., Ltd., to produce a new type of catalyst coated diesel particulate filter DPF that decomposes matter contained in diesel engine exhaust gas in November 2015 Panasonic Corporation start to retail locally harvested produce from its indoor agriculture facility salads via Veggie Life branding in Singapore from the very first licensed indoor vegetable farm in the country using Panasonic's own technology in February 2016 Panasonic and the city of Denver formed a formal partnership to make Denver the smartest City in America. Joseph M. Taylor, chairman and CEO of Panasonic Corp. of America, laid out the plans for the partnership in four key areas, smart housing and small offices, energy and utilities, transportation and city services and smart buildings. Due to increased competition from China, Panasonic's Lyon Auto market share decreased from 47% in 2014 to 34% in 2015. In June 2016, Tesla Motors, Inc. announced that Panasonic Corporation would be the exclusive supplier of batteries for its mass-market vehicle Model 3. Batteries for the higher-end Model S sedan and Model X SUV will also be supplied by Panasonic. In early 2016 Panasonic President Kazuhiro Suga confirmed a planned total investment of about $1.6 billion by the company to construct the Gigafactory to full capacity. However, after the number of Model 3 reservations became known in April, Panasonic moved production plans forward and announced a bond sale for $3.86 billion, most of it to be invested in Gigafactory. In 2016, it debuted its transparent TV. In August 2018, the company announced, in order to avoid potential tax issues, Panasonic will move its European headquarters from the UK to Amsterdam in October as Brexit approaches. On 25 September 2018, Panasonic became one of the founding members of the L-Mount Alliance, and announced two full-frame mirrorless cameras and a range of L-Mount lenses to be launched in 2019. The 47-megapixel Panasonic Lumix S1R and the 24-megapixel Panasonic Lumix S1 will be the first full-frame mirrorless cameras produced by Panasonic and will offer the Lumix Pro support service for professional photographers. These cameras will also be equipped with dual image stabilization technology to help photographers when shooting in low light. Topic current operations As of March 31, 2012, Panasonic employed about 330,000 staff and had around 580 subsidiary companies. Panasonic had total revenues of 7,846,216 yen in 2012, of which 53% were generated in Japan, 25% in Asia excluding Japan, 12% in the Americas and 10% in Europe. Panasonic's operations are organized into three broad business fields: consumer, solutions and components and devices, and nine domain companies AVC networks, which generated 17% of Panasonic's total 2012 revenues, eco-solutions 15% of revenues, appliances 15% of revenues, industrial devices 14% of revenues, systems and communications 8% of revenues, automotive systems 7% of revenues, energy 6% of revenues, healthcare and manufacturing solutions, Panasonic and invested a total of 520,216 million yen in research and development in 2012, equivalent to 6.6% of its revenues in that year. As of March 31, 2012, Panasonic held a total of 140,146 patents worldwide. In July 2016, it was reported that Panasonic is now looking at making acquisitions in the artificial intelligence AI and machine learning space. According to a source, the company has put aside $10 million for use in either an acquisition or joint venture. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Panasonic Automotive Systems. 
Panasonic Automotive Systems is an original equipment manufacturer of factory installed mobile audio equipment such as head units, speakers, and navigation modules. It is a subcontractor to most major auto manufacturers, supplying virtually every Japanese and American automaker, along with many European automakers. In 2015, PA had a revenue of $12.4 billion. Panasonic also formally manufactured aftermarket vehicle audio products such as head units and speakers. Topic: <laughs> Panasonic Avionics Corporation. Panasonic Avionics Corporation PAC, a subsidiary of Panasonic Corporation of North America, is a supplier of in-flight entertainment and communication systems. Headquartered in Lake Forest, California where engineering, development and testing is performed while system installation, field engineering, major quality functions, certification and program management are performed at the Bothell, Washington facility. Panasonic Avionics Corporation employs approximately 3,300 employees based in over 70 locations worldwide, with major facilities in London, Toulouse, Hamburg, Dallas, Dubai and Singapore. A majority of the component manufacturing is carried out in Osaka, Japan. In February 2017, Panasonic reported that the subsidiary was being investigated by American authorities under the FCPA. Panasonic Mobile Communications Panasonic Mobile Communications manufactures mobile phone handsets and related equipment. As of 2012, it had around a 20% share of the Japanese handset market. Panasonic used to market mobile phone handsets worldwide, but in December 2005 announced its withdrawal from overseas markets due to poor sales. Panasonic returned to the overseas market in 2012, with the release of the Panasonic Aluga Android powered smartphone. In July 2013, Panasonic announced the company will not supply a new model of smartphone to NTT Docomo Inc., because NTT Docomo will focus with Sony and Samsung products. In Q2 2013, Panasonic Mobile Communications booked a 5.4 billion yen operating loss. From July 2013 to January 2018 Panasonic India has released one more series of Android smartphones Panasonic P-Series, along with Aluga series. <laughs> Panasonic Corporation of North America Panasonic Corporation of North America is Panasonic's principal subsidiary in the United States. It has been headquartered in Newark, New Jersey since 2013, after being previously headquartered in Sea Caucus. Since the 1980s, both Newark and Sea Caucus are located within New Jersey's Gateway region. Founded in New York City at the MetLife Building in September 1959, it was known as Matusta Electric Corporation of America Mecca prior to 2005. Panasonic Europe Panasonic's principal subsidiaries in Europe are Panasonic Europe Limited and Panasonic Marketing Europe GmbH. Panasonic Europe is headquartered in London, England, but it is moving its headquarters to Amsterdam, Netherlands due to Brexit. Panasonic employs around 12,000 people in Europe, and the region generates around 10% of its total revenues. In 2012, Panasonic had around a 10% share of the consumer electronics market in Europe, ranking third behind Samsung Electronics with 26% and LG Electronics with 12%. Panasonic operates a chain of stores in the United Kingdom and Ireland called Panasonic Store, which exclusively sell Panasonic products. Prior to 2008, the chain was named Shop at Panasonic. In November 2010, Panasonic Electric Works established Panasonic Electric Works Voslo Schwab Serbia d.o.o., a new company in Svilajnik, Serbia, to manufacture energy-efficient electronic devices ballasts for lighting fixtures. Volume production commenced in January 2011. In May 2015, Panasonic launched its virtual solar service to UK consumers. 
The service allows users to run a simulation to provide an estimate of how much a rooftop solar installation would produce if it were installed in their home. Topic: <laughs> Panasonic India. Mr. Dezo Ito serves as group president for Panasonic Regional Headquarters India, situated in Haryana at Panasonic India Private Limited. Panasonic India makes washing machines, refrigerators, electric rice cookers, electric irons, mixer grinders, blenders and other home appliances for the Indian market. Anchor Electricals Private Limited, an Indian company which makes electric lamps, switches, sockets and other electrical accessories, is a wholly owned subsidiary of Panasonic Corporation. Panasonic Corporation in Indonesia PT Panasonic Gobel Indonesia formerly known as PT National Gobel Indonesia is the name of the company's Indonesia division based in Kawang, East Jakarta. Sigo Saifu is the current President Director and Rakmat Gobel is the current President Commissioner. Gobel is also the President Commissioner of Indosat. Panasonic Gobel Indonesia is a joint venture between Panasonic Corporation Japan and the Gobel Group of Indonesia. <laughs> Former operations <laughs> MCA and Universal Studios Matusta bought American media company MCA Inc. for $6.6 billion. In 1995, it sold 80% of MCA's shares to Canadian drinks company Seagram. MCA was renamed Universal Studios in 1996, and its music division was renamed Universal Music Group. Universal Studios is now a unit of NBC Universal, which is now owned by Philadelphia based Comcast. Universal Music Group is now owned by French media conglomerate Vivendi. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Panasonic 3DO. Panasonic used to manufacture 3DO gaming systems alongside Gold Star and Sanyo, but stopped three years later as it was not a success. There were a total of 2 million systems sold from 1993 to 1996, though it is not known how many of these were sold by each manufacturer. Panasonic obtained exclusive rights to manufacture the 3 Do's successor console, the M2, but ultimately backed out of releasing it due to the highly competitive state of the console gaming market at the time. Products. Panasonic offers a wide range of products and services, including air conditioners, refrigerators, washing machines, compressors, lighting, televisions, personal computers, mobile phones, audio equipment, cameras, broadcasting equipment, projectors, automotive electronics, aircraft in-flight entertainment systems, semiconductors, lithium batteries, electrical components, optical devices, bicycles, electronic materials and photovoltaic modules. Ventilation appliances such as electric fans are manufactured under KDK and rebranded as Panasonic. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Brand names. Panasonic Corporation sells virtually all of its products and services worldwide under the Panasonic brand, having phased out the Sanyo brand in the first quarter of 2012. The company has sold products under a number of other brand names during its history. In 1927, the company founder adopted the brand name, National Nashonaru Nashonaru for a new lamp product. In 1955, the company began branding audio speakers and lamps for markets outside Japan as Panasonic, which was the first time it used the Panasonic brand name. The company began to use the brand name, Technics Tekunakusu Tekunakusu, in 1965 for audio equipment. The use of multiple brands lasted for some decades. In May 2003, the company announced that 
Panasonic would become its global brand, and launched the global tagline, Panasonic Ideas for Life. The company began to unify its brands to Panasonic, and, by March 2004 replaced National for products and outdoor signboards, except for those in Japan. In January 2008, the company announced that it would phase out the brand National in Japan, replacing it with the global brand Panasonic by March 2010. In September 2013, the company announced a revision of the decade-old tagline to better illustrate the company vision. A Better Life, A Better World, Rasonic is a brand name of Shunhing Electric Works and Engineering Co., Ltd., Sinzing Diangong Gongcheng Yuxian Gongsi a company that has imported Panasonic and national branded products since Matusta Electric Industrial Era, and has also sold May, Panasonic products under the original brand names. In June 1994, Panasonic Shunhing Industrial Devices Sales Hong Kong Co., Ltd. Songchia Sinzing Jidian Xiangang Yuxian Gongsi and Panasonic SH Industrial Sales Shenzhen Co., Ltd. Songchia Dianchi Jidian Shenzhen Yuxian Gongsi were established by joint venture between Matusta Electric Industrial and Shunhing Group respectively, making Rasonic a product brand for May and subsequent Panasonic Corporation. In September 2014, Panasonic announced they will revive the Technics brand. Sponsorships Football Panasonic sponsors the German football player Marco Reus, who plays for Bundesliga club Borussia Dortmund and Germany. Panasonic owns Gamba Osaka, a club from the J League, the main Japanese professional football league. Panasonic is an official partner and sponsor of AFC Champions League and Major League Soccer. Between 1981 and 1983, Panasonic was the shirt sponsor of English football club Nottingham Forest FC on January 16, 2010. Panasonic signed a three year, 47 million rupees .5 pounds jersey sponsorship deal for the India national football team topic other Panasonic was a primary sponsor of Toyota's Formula 1 program Panasonic Toyota Racing Hiro Matusta, grandson of the company founder, is a former race car driver who ran a company overseeing sponsorship arrangements for the company. Panasonic was also a sponsor in NASCAR's Bush Series in 2005, sponsoring the number 67 Smith Brothers Racing Dodge for Ken Schrader, Brian Refner, C.W. Smith, and Johnny Benson Jr. In 2007, Panasonic became a technology partner with Hendrick Motorsports, and will serve as a primary sponsor of the team's number 24 car with Jeff Gordon for two races in 2014 and through 2015. Panasonic has been a top level sponsor of the Olympic Games since the Seoul Olympics in 1988. Panasonic was the official partner and sponsor of the Boston Celtics from 1975 to 1989, along with Technics. Various Panasonic ads appeared at the Old Boston Garden during the 1980s. On September 8, 2016, Panasonic was unveiled as the title sponsor for the new Jaguar Formula E team. On February 14, 2017, Panasonic was unveiled as the main sponsor of Lega Basket Serie A, the highest professional basketball league in Italy and one of the top ranked national domestic league in Europe. Topic. Environmental record Panasonic is ranked in joint 11th place out of 16 in Greenpeace's Guide to Greener Electronics, which ranks electronics manufacturers on policies and practices to reduce their impact on the climate, produce greener products and make their operations more sustainable. The company is one of the top scorers on the products criteria, praised for its good product life cycles and the number of products which are free from polyvinyl chloride plastic PVC. 
it also scores maximum points for the energy efficiency of its products with 100% of its TVs meeting the latest Energy Star standards and exceeding the standby power requirement. However, Panasonic's score is let down by its low score on the energy criteria, with the guide stating it must focus on planned reductions of greenhouse gases (GHG), set targets to reduce GHG emissions by at least 30% by 2015 and increase renewable energy use by 2020. In 2014, an article in The Guardian reported that Panasonic will compensate its expatriate workers in China a hazard pay as compensation for the chronic air pollution they are subjected to as they work. Slogans Just slightly ahead of our time. 1970s to 1990s. Even more than you expected out of the blue. 1970s-1996 Australia. What's on Panasonic? 1990–1996 Panasonic, the one that I want. 1996–2003 What's new Panasonic? 1996–2003 Ideas for life. 2003–2013 A better life, a better world. 2013–present Let's live life better. 2017-2018. Topic. See also. List of Japanese companies. Nakamura Kunio.